Hello. In part 1 and part 2, we understood the concept, definitions and questions of UMBUE. In this part, we will do some more questions. We already know Rao Blackwell theorem. We already know the significance of having a complete and sufficient statistic. And we know the general procedure to find UMBUE when we have a complete and sufficient statistic according to Rao Blackwell theorem. Now we will do a few more questions. Question 1. We have to find UMBUE of theta e to the power minus theta where xi belongs to poison theta. If you look closely, this is nothing but probability x equals to 1 where x belongs to poison theta. Now I'll simply write the joint density function that is the likelihood function. So from here, we get Tx equals to summation Xi. This is a sufficient and complete statistic. Hai. Yahan pe, agar hum Lehman Sheff theorem use karte hai, to ab hume sirf ek unbiased estimator of g theta find karna hai. g theta kya hai? Theta e to the power minus theta. अगर ये function of t आता है, t is summation xi, then our solution is complete. तो हम राव blackwellization method लगाते हैं. So let's start with an arbitrary unbiased estimator of g theta. And if we are able to condition it on a sufficient and complete statistic, our work is done. In such questions, we normally define an indicator variable. Define karte hai. Let's do it here as well. And indicator variable will take value 1 if x is equal to 1. So, this estimator ka expectation is Probability x1 equals to 1, which is theta e to the power minus theta x. Matlab ki, ye estimator ek unbiased estimator hai. अब सिर्फ इसका UMBUE फाइंड करना रहता है। ये 
ये फाइंड करने के लिए हम सिंपली अनबायस्ड एस्टिमेटर को कंडीशन करेंगे कंप्लीट एंड सफिशिएंट एस्टिमेटर पे नाउ टी एक्स इक्वल टू समीशन एक्स आई समीशन एक्स आई इक्वल टू टी सो व्हाट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स वन विल बी वन एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी आई गोज फ्रॉम टू टू एन माइनस वन विल बी टी माइनस वन वाई सी जब हम प्रोबेबिलिटी एक्स वन इक्वल्स टू वन गिवन समीशन एक्स आई इक्वल्स टू टी को एक्सपैंड करते हैं और हम न्यूमिनेटर कंसिडर करेंगे प्रोबेबिलिटी एक्स वन इक्वल्स टू वन इंटरसेक्शन समीशन आई गोज फ्रॉम वन टू एन एक्स आई इक्वल्स टू टी अब हमें ये पता है सम ऑफ एक्स आईज वेर आईज फ्रॉम वन टू एन इज इक्वल टू टी एंड एक्स वन का वैल्यू इज ऑलरेडी वन सो समेशन एक्स आई आई गोज फ्रॉम टू टू एन विल बी इक्वल टू टी माइनस वन बिकॉज वन तो ऑलरेडी एक्स वन में हो गया है और सिंस ऑल द वेरिएबल्स आर इंडिपेंडेंट तो इसको हम इंडिपेंडेंट की तरह ट्रीट करके अलग अलग पी में लिख सकते हैं अब हमारे पास सिंपली दो अलग अलग पी हैं और रिप्रोडक्टिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पॉइजन एस्टिमेटर यूज करके हम सिंपली ये लिख सकते हैं So g hat x equals to t upon n one minus one by n to the power t minus one, which implies that t by n one minus one by n to the power t minus one is the u m v u e. And suppose n tends to infinity, then one minus one by n to the power n. Please इस property को याद करिए या आपके IIT, JAM, MS, CSIR, NET, GATE हर paper में ये property कहीं ना कहीं use होती है. So थोड़ा सा simplification करके हमें g hat x का value मिल जाएगा as n tends to infinity. Which is nothing but theta into e x p minus theta, which is equal to g theta. Hence, it is unbiased in the limit. So g hat x is the consistent estimator. See, it's not important always that you will get the unbiased estimator like that only. Sometimes you have to consider it in limit as well. In Poisson distribution, if you remember, any way it works in the limit. N tends to infinity, p tends to be a very small number, and n p tends to be finite. Now we have next question. X belongs to binomial n p, and you we have to find the u and v u e of p. I'm sure this question you've done a lot of times. Let's just revise it. We write a PDF of binomial distribution. We will log f x find karenge, which is x log p plus n minus x log one minus p. So when I will differentiate with respect to p, I will get x by p plus n minus x upon one minus p. थोड़ा सा यहाँ पे एल्जेब्रिक मैनिपुलेशन होगा Again, we'll go back to the property of Cramer Rao lower bound. So it will be strict unless t equals to c x for some c, which will imply that p hat equals to x by n. That is an unbiased estimator of p. And x by n achieves CRLB. So it is a U M V U E. See, Cramer Rao lower bound likelihood function or sufficient statistic ka bahut zada interrelation hai. And if you are able to detect that interrelation, you will be able to solve a lot of questions very easily.
Okay, let's do next question. We have been given that x1, x2, xn are a sample from a normal mu, comma, sigma square distribution and we have to find u and u e for sigma. We have sigma square, ka nikala hai, but what about sigma? So all of us know this property n minus 1 s square upon sigma square belongs to chi square n minus 1 where s square equals to 1 upon n minus 1 summation xi minus x bar square. So what will be the distribution or the mean of under root of s here? So x belongs to chi square n what will be the mean of under root x? So if you solve it this is what you get. And we've seen this a lot of times that S is a sufficient and complete estimator for sigma. Why? Because sufficient estimator, one-on-one -on -one invariance property. And for sigma, see, any estimator is complete for a family of distributions. It's not just complete for a parameter. It's complete for the entire distribution. So whenever we talk about, let's say, uniform distribution, Xn is complete for uniform distribution. It is not complete just for some theta. Okay, we already have expectation of under root n minus 1 s upon sigma and we already know s is sufficient and complete. Now we have only this that we have an unbiased estimator of sigma hai, which will be conditioned upon s. Right? Here we will do a little algebraic manipulation. Karenge. So this is our desired solution. Remember, this is not sigma for sigma square. You can see sigma square in FMS SC Gupta VK Kapoor. Mein dekh sakte hai. Thank you so much guys. If you have any doubt or question, hai, please don't forget to comment. And ये सारे notes आपको Instagram page पे मिल जाएंगे. Thank you.